Josephine Strange, the Cap Lobo, is a vampiric creature from Brazilian myth, particularly in the states of Para and Maranhão. These creatures have two forms, animal and humanoid. In animal form, they appear similar to tapir, but are larger, faster and thinner. They have a shaggy coat of black fur and snort that appears similar to anteaters or pigs. They are hairy and very ugly. It's not clear how the cap- capo lobo transforms from animal to humanoid form, or it's not the matter of transformation at all, but it's clearly separate. The humanoid form of these creatures is muscular with a human body and anteaters head. They retain their thick matted coat of fur. An addition of covered head to toe in high, impregnable skin. Each hunch, in hunch, they are seven feet high. Their front claws are similar to that of a town adora, a kind of small anteater. However, their feet have a set of perfectly rounded hooves, but are no feet at all. They leave an imprint in the ground, but unlike the bottle, making them dif- difficult. Unlike a bottle, making them difficult to track. Another notable feature is a cater- cape lobo is an earthly stench so powerful. It's said to be always surrounded by a cloud of flies. Rarely is described as having, rarely is described as having a single eye or only one leg. However, there are traits often associated with a similar map in Gorai. Some accounts are more when mentioned. Its long fangs. The Capalopo can stun with its foul stench, and even those who survive the encounter will get headaches and dizziness for several days a month. It is also known to have its shrill screams, but it can be heard for ten miles and powerful enough to bring even the hardest of hunters to their knees and completely paralyze most of it with fear. When heard the distance, they can bewilder hunters and travellers, causing them to become lost and sometimes mad. However, they may also make a softer and less dangerous sound, a sound not unlike someone blowing over the top of an empty bottle. Their thick hide and fur act as a sort of armour, and even bullets bounce off their hides. They can only be killed by a blow to the eye. It's an evil. Some accounts even claim that it must be done with a spear. When poetry, well, poetry, Cape Alobo is not actually hunting, do not actively hunt humans. They prefer dogs, cats, goats, especially newborns. However, if you manage to capture a human, they grab them tightly and suck their brains out through the top of their skull. In many cases, they serve Serve the cultured artery instead, and drink their victim's blood. Even just rip apart, rip prey apart from their sharp teeth. They're more likely to devour someone if they're fool enough to hunt on a Sunday. They have ravenous appetite. They hunt at night to saturate their unending hunger. It's said that these creatures are sort of Lincolnian l- folk. However, rather than changing between forms, a human has changed into Calipolobo, has no hope of turning back. When a person is old and dying, if they choose to spend their last days in the woods, they will transform into one of these monsters.